It's always just a bug. We're at uh, Brent Crater Trail in the uh, northern part of Algonquin Park. With us today for the expedition is Melissa Furlot, leading navigation expert in the world. Taylor Walsh, leading paleontologist and our astrophysicist. Mallory Everett. I'm Perley Walsh, the team leader. And behind us you can see the tower that we're going to mount right now yeah. to see the, the crater. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. The Brent Crater, first recognized in 1951 from aerial photographs. The crater is a circular depression, about two miles in diameter, formed in Precambrian crystalline rocks. Geophysical and diamond drilling investigations show that the crater was a present, sorry, the crater has a present depth of about 1,400 feet, but it's partly filled by sedimentary rocks with a thickness of 900 feet. The rocks beneath the crater floor are thoroughly fragmented over a depth of 2,000 feet. Like the similar New Quebec Chubb Crater, the Brent Crater is attributed to the high-speed impact of a giant meteorite. It is calculated that the impact released energy equaling 250 megatons of TNT and occurred about 450 million years ago when this area was probably covered by a shallow sea. When this area was probably covered by a shallow sea. We move over here. The Brent Crater Trail is a two-kilometer loop which takes you down the eroded wall of the crater to its present day floor and back to the observ observation tower. Please take a trail guide from one of the slots below. You may use the guide free and leave it in the box provided at the end of the trail or you may put it, put your payment in the pipe and keep the guide to take home with you. The numbered sections of the guide correspond to numbered posts along the trail and explain the crater's creation and dis discuss its consequences. And as you can see here, pan up to the wooden tower. There's the tailor man. There's Mal, or sorry, Alyssa, and there's Mallory. Okay, we're at the top of the tower. That over there, probably the other Panning around. There's Taylor explaining things again as he always does. Alyssa, and say hi, Mal. Hi. Okay. I'm tired. We haven't done the walk yet, but Alyssa's already tired. We're going to pan around here. See the far ridge is the edge of the crater. We're up about 40 feet. Yes, Taylor. This could, be a this could be like a big roof over and this could be down there. And that's the road where we came from down there. Okay, you can record your way out. So we're up at treetop level. And the depression that you see before you is what's left of the, uh, the impact site. Now, we're going to go down along the eroded wall of the crater and onto the surface, the floor of the crater. We're walking along from the tower, heading back to the start of the trail. And you, you can see it's a beautiful day. Just a great, fantastic day in Algonquin Park. The bugs aren't even too bad because the wind's up a bit. And this is a view along the road on the way back to the trail. Of course, the kids are running ahead like normal. Say hi, Liz. Hello. Say hi, Mal. Hi. Oh, don't. Mal, say hi. What? You guys are movie stars. This is the start of the trail. By the way, the date today is the 15th of August, 2002, and the kids are Okay, we found something. Let's see. It's right there. It's huge. It's right there. Oh, he's a big fat toad. Yeah, I saw a bigger one than that when I was coming back from the catalog. Hi, it's, toad. I, they're so cute. I know. I'm not even sure if I'm looking at the right thing. It's right there. Yeah, right there. Can you see it? It's kind of camouflaged, though. <sighs> Hard to tell. And there's the way down the trail. Okay, let's head down the trail. Okay, you can see the blue mark on that tree. And we're walking down the eroded crater rim wall right now. Okay guys, wait up!
We're at post number two, and the evidence that we're looking at is the rock in front of us. That is shattered rock. That's evidence that the meteor passed directly through here, and its ripple effect ripped these rocks apart. That's post number two. So the evidence is still there. Hey, there's some rock that was shattered. We got a deep rock. Remember, this is 450 million years ago, but the evidence is still here. We'll take a panoramic view of exactly where we are. Back up the trail where we came from. And again, back down the trail where the kids are already headed. The wooden path that we have to cross over, we already pretty much have. There's a picture and down below, probably 40 feet down is a little crick. Tell her stay away from the edge, bud. And we're still on our way down the side of the crater. Okay, we're at post number three if Taylor moves his head. And here, this means we're at the bottom of the crater. We're on the, the present day floor of the crater. Cool. You'll notice a couple of strange things here. First off, the little river that runs through here has done a nice job cutting a hole through this, through this landscape, eroding it away. And that's very unusual for the park because it's very rocky material throughout the rest of the park. However, another evidence, this must be sediment from the uh, meteor impact. And therefore, it was easy enough for the uh, little creek to erode. Okay, we're off and on our way again, guys. Three and two. Okay, Mallory found us post number four. Ah, so we're down here at the bottom of the crater, and we're going to see what post number four has to tell us. Nothing. We'll do a nice There's pan too around. many bugs. There's too many bugs for crater number four, post number four. Ooh, it is pretty buggy. Yeah. Hey, you That's one. the trail where we came from. <laughs> and so far we've seen some deer poop, but we haven't seen any bear poop, so we're good to go. So although behind us is a crater floor, it's the sloping crater floor that's curved down. And where we are at post number four is the beginning of the flat part of the, the crater floor itself. So we're going to head on out into that. Hey, Alyssa found There's us post number bugs. five. What's that? There's too many bugs. Too many bugs, definitely. There's From here, the crater. There's we can look out and see part of Tecumseh Lake, one of the two lakes that's occupying the crater, in the crater site now. So the impact of the meteor is still having an effect today in the sense that those lakes have created an ecosystem around here. Okay, shut this off. Okay, this is still post number five. Now we're out on the open plain of the crater floor and we're looking across. You can see part of Tecumseh Lake. It's out that way. Okay guys, let's head on. Back up and onto the trail again. You'll notice this is also a portage trail. So that's the way up the trail. And we're off and running. Hey guys, this is post number six. This is basically the disclaimer. Even though we can see all the shattered rock here, there's no absolute 100% proof that a meteor impacted here. This could just be a freak of nature that it looks like one. But everything that we've seen so far indicates that it is. Again, see the shattered rock? Okay, we're on the end of the trail. We're on our way out, we signed a register, a book register. Wait up, guys! Jeepers. Here we have a bunch of tired and grumbly kids. <laughs> we're done our mission. We walked the entire trail. We climbed the tower. We've seen where the crater is. And it sucked. And it sucked, and now we're on our way back to the car. This is a view from the road on the way back to the car. Oh. Isn't that nifty? Very, very beautiful.